going, going back to political science, um, uh, Leonard Seabrook, also one of the Green bosses uh, and uh, professor of, uh, of political uh, science at the Copenhagen Business School. Um, Len has uh, authored numerous books uh, of, that have been uh, kind of a series of gestalt flips in political economy, ranging from um, the importance of everyday political economy to looking in a very different way as at the role of, um, of US um, and um, the role of the US in international uh, finance. Um, Len is also a director of studies at the Warwick, in the Warwick Commission. Uh, one of the very subjects uh, that he's looking at, the commission established uh, um, before uh, central bankers and big banks got together to regulate global finance uh, early on in the crisis. And uh, that is essentially the topic of his presentation. This is quite a strange paper. It's um, fresh. I, I think I finished it hours before getting on the plane. Um, it's a it's a sort of study of commissions during the 2008-9 period. Um, the basic argument that we're going to put forward in the paper is based, based in part on this, this plant. Um, in fact, before we get started, this is a piece on commissions, and there are lots of acronyms and lots of people named. Um, I would give a dollar to the person who is able to name, name, name the most acronyms in terms of full, full names of the, of the bodies involved. Um, all the people, and if you're a student up the back, and you might need to come forward for this, um, I'll give you $5. <laughs> um, the, the study here is of commissions, and the, the basic idea is that, is that um, what you can see going on in commissions, is, in, in terms of distinctions made, is in a fractal distinction. And by, by a fractal distinction, we mean that, like, like the plant here, that, that um, once, once you make a distinction based on one topic, the kind of distinction made makes itself again in the next time around. Uh, and I'll explain why, why it's important. Um, as Cornell said, I was in charge of the Warwick Commission um, in 2009-2010, and, uh, and there's a picture of me looking scared. Uh, it's true that I, that I was scared. Can anyone name any of, any of these people? What? Yes, a lady single, my uh, Erica Lana. Is it uh, uh, Pessoa? Avi Pessoa. That one's easy. Yeah, yeah, yes, it's, it's, it's easy. And the fellow on the on the on the on the end on the right hand side is um, someone who is incredibly important, uh, but you might, you might you might not know who he is. That's Mark Taylor, who is dean of the Warwick Business School, one of the founders of BlackRock and former former IMF. Um, okay. In terms, in terms of, of, of what we've done, done this paper is cho chosen commissions from the 2008-9 period. We felt awkward choosing the Warwick Commission as one of them, but the, um, the uh, basic, basic story here is that we've chosen commissions that were talked about in the financial press and the economist. So if you had a report come out in the 2008-9 period and you had a story about you in the, in the economist, then, we, then you've been selected. And the Warwick Commission had a story about an economist um, it, was, it was seen as being a very serious report. Um, and of course, being, being involved in this process of, of um, uh, as a person formally in charge of the, of the entire process was, was interesting. Um, in this paper, we're talking in part about uh, the question, um, uh, who was talking to who and why? I mean, the question of who was talking to who and why when it comes to, to this debate of financial reform debates is... is, uh, is um, uh, of interest, and what we basically find is that the link between who is talking to who and the authority behind different commissions uh, differs. So, and I'll just go through, through why, why, why that's important. I, I, I don't think I'll take up all my time, but that's, that's probably okay. In terms of distinctions, what we have here is a basic idea from Andrew Abbott um, in his book from 2001. And if you have a distinction when it comes to methods, for example, we have quantitative and qualitative. If we took everyone in the room here and said, are your, are your methods in political science or um, do you tend to be quantitative or qualitative, then we would break up into two groups. And then Martin and I would be in a qualitative group. And then we would ask the question again, are you quantitative or qualitative? Now, now you're based already in the subgroup. And then Martin would say, I'm qualitative, qualitative. And I would probably say, I'm qualitative, quantitative. And if you do that process over and over again, you, you, you break the groups down into different forms. 
what we've done in the study here is financial reform, the sort of key distinction made. I mean, you could say it's uh, state, market, public, private, um, so on and so on and so on. Um, in terms of what's going on, we think the, the key distinction being made here is unit or system. So in terms of, if, if we're thinking through what's the, um, in, terms of, in terms of what's being regulated, what's the object of regulation? Is it the unit or the system? Um, and then if you, but if you apply this logic, then you get this distinction from financial reform down to the unit and the system, and then again, it's the unit and the system. And what we've basically um, done is, is that we've gone through the reports um, and uh, we've allocated a logic according to what's going on. Um, in terms of methods, when you apply this method, most, most of what it's applied to is sort of like it's applied to fields. So you, can, so you can apply it to political science or to economics or to sociology or similar, and you study it over time. So, um, but what we've done in this paper here is, is, is apply this logic to the basic arguments from the reports. So uh, now it's time to make some money. The IIF. IIF. Excellent. SF. Forum. Is it forum? Okay, we had a few people there. Uh, this is a, a Kevin. This one. C R M P G. C R M P G. <laughs> the Counterparty Risk Management Something Group. <laughs> uh, the Treasury, of course, is uh, is, um, uh, is, is obvious. Deal all CA. I don't know if I'm saying that right, Vivian. Is, is, is that close? Yeah. Deal all CA. Am I wrong? Uh, Turner Report, Geneva Report, G30. That should be pretty easy. Yeah. The UN Report, the War Commission Report, and the IMF. Um, if we so look through these reports in terms of the logic when it comes to the unit and the system, and they break down, break down the logic, they really do vary quite a lot. So we go right, right from the uh, left-hand side here where it's unit, unit, unit. So this is basically saying regulate the bank in a different way. 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 Don't do anything to the system. So it's unsurprising that the key lobbying group for banks doesn't want, doesn't, doesn't want any major change going on to the system. Um, and then if you go to the, the other extreme over here, the IMF, that the this, the report here is from the IMF staff. Um, the, the, the report that came out didn't have the authority of the board. So, and that's saying you regulate the system, you regulate the system, you regulate the system, you regulate the system. There's no detail in that report on what to do with banks inside countries because they don't want to offend anyone. So just, just to give a few examples here, I said the IIF is, um, okay, on the left hand side, if you look at Turner, that's probably the most complicated. Here's a mix of, in terms of thinking about a system and then the units inside the system. So it goes from the system unit, unit system. In terms, in terms of the, of the logic. And if people want the paper, I'm, I'm quite happy to send it to you, because obviously this is getting into some complexity. The Warwick Commission is really system, 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 unit. And part of the argument here is that we could do this, because we didn't have anyone sort of, there was no authority over us telling us what to do. So, um, and that gets us into the next point of the presentation. Um, what we found, certainly during, during the experience of the Warwick Commission, and what we find in these reports, is that you have an incentive as, as a professional to make sure that you're in the game. And, and the incentives, in that sense, um, come from wanting to be part of a community on a long-term basis, while, 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 while being involved in trying to send a clear signal from, from your report. So for example, in the Warwick Commission, we were in um, uh, Berlin, New Delhi, Beijing, Toronto, and a few other places. And we would, certainly during the, prior to the report being established, we were in Toronto. And um, what we were sort of being asked by the audience there of regulators is, how is your product different from the other products? So how, how are your ideas different from the other ideas from, from you know, going on with the G30 or with the IAF or similar? And so there's a strong incentive as a professional to, to make sure that you have your own terrain and turf. So, but, while, while we have your own terrain and turf, uh, what this network map is showing you here is affiliations between different reports and the authors. So, for example, Ali Perso was the chairman of the Warwick Commission report, he was on the UN report, and the Geneva report. And Avi was, had a very busy year. 
uh, if you have Charles Goodhart, you're on the Iran report, and then also in Geneva report. And then down here, you have these guys, uh, Hausler, Stern, Rhodes, and Frenkel, who were on the IAF report and the G30 report. Now, if you go back two slides, the I, in, in terms of the logic of what they're arguing on how to change the financial system, the IAF report is over here, and the G30 report is over here. So in, terms, in terms, in terms of what's being recommended between these two reports is very, very distinct. While, while the authors involved, they're, they're writing on, the, on both reports. So what's going on? I mean, they're, they're playing a long-term game um, of being involved in the community while being involved in this, uh, you know, this sort of um, uh, trying, trying, trying to produce ideas that are different. I'm just move on. If you look at the authority involved here, in terms of what's going on in the reports, we have three here who was, who was sort of self, self appointed. I mean, as the director of the Warwick Commission, I have no problem saying that the Warwick Commission was funded by the University of Warwick. And it was meant to be, um, well, no, it was. It worked. Uh, it was a, a, an exercise of saying, let's get ourselves into The Economist and The Wall Street Journal and let's, let's, let's make sure Warwick is giving public goods. Uh, G30 reports the same, Geneva reports the same, CIMPG, um, yeah, it's the same as well. In terms of the audience for, for the reports and the commissions, we have, we have two types. One, one where the audience is very clearly defined, and one where the audience is, has not been defined. Okay. And what we think is going on here is that, is, is, is that if you're in this group here and you have a mandate and a defined audience, the kind of things you can say about financial reform are coming from the authority. And it tends to be, and they tend to be sort of um, in the middle, in the sort of middle, middle here, sort of around this area, around here. Um, and the reason why is that you want to send a, a fairly clear signal of why you're a bit different from the other reports. The extreme reports, as I said, the IIF and the INF report, uh, are cases where the IIF case is a lobby group. Oh, sorry. Um, who have a who who term, 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 terms of their members is very very clear and they, they don't want to be regulated and the IMF of course um, in terms of its mandate is very clear for the staff to work on these issues but in terms of actually being able to say something about changing side states they can't do it um, so I'll say in conclusion that what we what we, what we try to do in the paper is point out that if you're a professional in this in this community or in this market for ideas you have very you, you, you have sort of long-term incentive to be involved in this kind of work, even though your affiliations may differ. Um, and I'll stop there.